Good day, do's and duodettes. I wanted to first tell you about a book that I read. It's called Skeleton Creek. And the reason I read it is because it's this um, type of book called transmedia. What transmedia means is that it's not only a book, but there are specific places in the book where there's um, websites and passwords that you go onto the websites and put in the passwords and it shows you videos to go along with the book. So you have to watch the videos in order to understand what's happening. But while I was reading this book, this symbol kept coming up, these circle symbols, and it got me really inspired this week to think about circles. I don't know if you're... Um, Life has encountered you to read the book The Dot by Peter Reynolds, but it's also a really cool book about a kid that doesn't know what to draw and feels like they're not good at art ever. So he decides to paint dots, but he's really good at painting dots, just like really, really good. And so he keeps painting dots and he masters dots. And it's a really great book if you want to get inspired about finding what you're good at and continuing to do that. So this week, we are going to talk about dots. Now, as you know, a dot is just a circle filled in. And I don't know about you, but I have not mastered how to draw a perfect circle. I have to have some help. So I went around my house and I collected some things to help me draw some circles. I have a plastic cup. I have the lid from um, a glass jar. Um, I have this white plastic lid. I have a Dr. Pepper lid. And then I have this little black lid. So I have all different sizes of circles to help me out. So then I have my piece of paper that I'm going to draw on and my trusty pencil because in case I make some mistakes or make a wiggly line on my circle, I'll be able to erase it. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a whole bunch of circles. Now the really cool thing is, is that your circles don't have to fit exactly on the page. So this circle, it goes off the page a little bit. And so then I'm gonna connect my circles. Some of them are gonna overlap and some of them are gonna be underneath. So let's see here, I want another big circle and I want it right here. And this one's gonna overlap. Okay, there we go. And then I want a little circle right here. Oh, I didn't do this side. It's a little line right there. Okay. And then I get my Dr. Pepper in here. And it's going to be all on its own. It's not connected to anything. But do you know what I am going to do? Is I'm going to take my little black one. And I'm going to put it in the middle. So it's like a ring. Okay. So I've got some really cool circles. Now I said this one was going to overlap. So I'm going to have to go back and erase my lines in the middle. So... Here we go, get some erasing done. All right, so now I've got a page full of circles. I can go back and add more circles. Like if I wanted to, I could put this one in the background over here. There we go, make that one a little bit fuller. Okay, so what I can do with this now is I can fill in the circles with different colors. Um, I can fill them in with different patterns. I think that we all know that I'm pretty obsessed with different patterns. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get in my magic bag of stuff and I'm gonna get out a dark color. I've got a gray here. And so I'm gonna work on one circle at a time and I'm going to make this into a Zen tangle. And in case you don't know what a Zen tangle is, it's just an area that's been broken up into spaces and then you fill in those spaces with tiny, intricate patterns. So I'm going to show you some of my favorite patterns today. Okay, the first pattern is super easy. All you're going to do is you're going to draw tiny circles right beside each other. Now, if you want to take this to a master level, if drawing circles is just not enough for you, you can go back into your white space and color it in. So that's your first one. You're just doing rows of circles. I mean, hopefully 
They don't overlap, but sometimes mistakes happen because nobody's perfect. And if they do, that's fine. So remember, your master level is if you go back in and fill in your blank space, but you can just leave that blank space there. So that's our first pattern. Our second pattern, I'm gonna do purple, and I'm gonna do it in this one right here. And this is called the basket pattern. And so I'm gonna do it right in the middle, and it's three vertical lines. Vertical means up and down. And then three horizontal lines. And horizontal means side to side. And then three more vertical, and three horizontal. So you're trying to make a basket-like pattern. So a line, I'm doing this real fast. Now usually I would make it tinier than this, but I'm trying to make it so the camera can see. So then underneath this, this is really important. I wanna do the opposite of what I did above. So this one is vertical lines. So underneath it, I'm gonna put horizontal lines. Underneath the horizontal, I'm gonna put vertical. It's okay if they overlap a little bit. You're just doing your best. So that's what a basket pattern looks like. All right, now this one, I do lots of research about like what patterns work best and you know, which ones are the most calming. And it says that if you want the most calming patterns, drawing the circles is number one and drawing lines is number two. So in my circle right here in the background, I'm gonna show you, now these are not gonna be straight lines and that's okay. I'm gonna draw lines and they're gonna be right beside each other. They are not gonna be straight, but I'm just gonna keep drawing lines. Now, if you're interested in filling in your spaces with more Zentangle patterns, then you can get on the old Google search engine and look up Zentangle patterns, and there will be hundreds of patterns for you to choose from. And they will also have like four square steps where it will show you step-by-step step how to make specific patterns. Some of them are really intense, some of them are super easy. So you just pick the ones that you like the most or you feel most comfortable with, okay? I think that for me, to make my patterns stand out, all my little negative space areas here, I'm gonna color in like one solid color so my patterns stand out the most. So, why don't you try out some circle art, see what you can make with just circles, and let me see what you can come up with. All right, have a good day.